Good evening, Mr. Johnson. I trust that you have been... successful? Not yet, sir. I... The ninja has been integrated into the class, but... They were supposed to make contact this morning. I hope I need not remind you, Mr. Johnson, that this organization does not accept failure. Or delays. It wasn't my fault. Her friend distracted him. I... Now, now, Mr. Johnson. I'm a reasonable man. Does... does this mean I still get paid? But, Mr. Johnson, what use is money to a dead man? Wait, no! Soon, Susan, soon I shall have my revenge. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, you've accidentally overdosed some poor chap on 100% pure human pheromones, and he now turns into a monster whenever he experiences arousal. Don't make him horny, Dad. You won't like him when he's horny. Please stop saying that. Seeing as you created this creature, I'm assuming you know how to stop it? I have a few ideas. I'll need a whiteboard, marker pens, and an assistant who'll question my every move, but in the end, tells me how much he's come to respect me. And my actions. Sorry sir, you can't be up here. There's a restricted area. You'll do. We're here about the monster. Oh that! We've got bigger problems right now than some urban myth. A madman has taken hostages and is held up at City Hall. But my creation! Damn it, man! I'm a scientist. And I assure you that that monster is very real. Now stand down. My son could be the only man capable of catching this vicious killer. There's no reported deaths yet, sir. What exactly makes you think you're qualified to have the right to pass judgment? Exactly what qualifications do you have, sir? Damn it, man! Are these the kind of questions we should be asking whilst people's lives are at risk? Please leave. Is everything all right, Charles? Well, we're trying to offer our services in apprehending the creature. Oh, that old thing. Well, we're a bit tied up at the moment with this damned hostage situation. Say, Charles, you may be able to help. You were quite the negotiator back in our Eton days. I dabbled. You can't be serious. Don't you dare question me again. Do you like the idea of becoming a lollipop man? <laughs> so, yes, take that, you. Ugh, oh, not again. Where am I? Susan. Susan. Hey, you? Seriously? What? You can't remember my name, can you? I sure do, fella. Okay then. What is it? Steve? No, oh, come on. Hang on a second. That's not your voice. I'm actually part of your subconscious. Obviously, you can't remember something that happened only last summer, so you're filling in the blanks. Why would my subconscious take the form of you? Well, I can try taking another form. How about this? My brother-in-law. No, try again. Eh? Fail. Mm. Meh. You'll do. Look at her. The woman who nearly broke me. In a way, I suppose it's a blessing you failed when you attempted to have her assassinated. Watching her demise will be even sweeter. I'm glad to hear that, sir. That almost makes up for the pain and night terrors linked to these bionic implants. Oh, stop complaining. You're all right now, aren't you? Yes, sir. See, it was a joke on account of you losing the left side of your face. Very amusing, sir. <laughs> Let's just move on to phase two of the operation. Sir, the hostage taker wishes to speak to us via this expensive wall television. Patch him through! Ah, finally. I was starting to suspect that you weren't taking me seriously. Hey, look, it's Susan! Wait, you know Susan? Know her? Why, she's my second best friend in the world, right, John? Don't touch me. Enough of this tomfoolery shenanigans. I currently have sleeper agents all over the country. 
Every nerd, loner, and geek who has attended one of my lectures is under my control, and they don't even realize it. What are your demands? I want twenty million pounds wired to my Swiss bank account, a helicopter, a parachute, and a full pardon for my crimes. This guy is wasting our time, and we can probably do without Susan, right? Right? Oh, come on, don't give me that look. I'm sure if Susan could speak right now, she'd be telling us not to negotiate with terrorists. What? No, you twit! Negotiate! Negotiate! Can we please go back to the monster hunt? Enough! You fools had your chance. Perhaps it is time to bear witness to... My wrath. Wrath. Which sounds better? Wrath or wrath? I give it two hours until they're assembled. Are you insane? You've just doomed the city. Sir, we have confirmed visual on the pheromone creature. I have an idea. Quick! Well, this has taken a pretty sudden yet inevitable turn for the worse. Is there any way to get out of here? There may be one way. Clap, Susan. Clap as loud as you can. Will that work? I don't know. Might make you feel better, though. My creation! One quick blast and this will be all over with. Looks like we won't be needing your son's help after all, Charles. No, don't kill him. I have a better idea. I just need to call in an old favour. Hello? Oh, it's you. Barry, it's time. Eh? Oh, but I wanted to use the tank. What's going on? Like Spider-Man, the Hulk, and many other copyrighted Marvel and DC heroes, fate has chosen you to be protector of mankind, to right wrongs, bring light to the darkness, fight crime on the mean streets with a devil-may-care attitude in a world that doesn't quite understand you. Uh. He dropped you in a vat of human pheromones and now you turn into a rampaging sex piece whenever you're in the mood. Cool. Yes. Yes, embrace your destiny. You shut up. And you stop taking this so well. What the devil is going on? Yes, we shall take the castle first. It shall be symbolic of our victory. Sir, I think they have a tank. Doesn't matter. They'll soon find out that I have a secret ace up my sleeve. Okay, lads! Fire! Wait! My daughter is in there! Sir? Pull the trigger. Save the city. Pull the trigger. Lose my daughter. Oh, I have an idea. John, lend me your phone. What? Why? Just do it, man! What the hell? Who decided it would be a good idea to arm him? I'm always armed, John. You know, just in case I need to. Here, just take the freaking phone already. Why are there no saucy pictures on here? What do you think I get up to in my spare time? Well, you're a single man. You spend a lot of time in the bathroom in the mornings and... Is this really the time? Oh, right, yeah. Internet. Internet. Google. Attractive lady. Images. Well, hey, look. Looky, look, look, look. You're making me horny. You won't ride me when I'm horny. Oh, good lord. The clapping worked. Jonas, you bastard, when I get my hands on you. <laughs> Quick, Mr. Johnson. Activate the chopper. But I don't want to. Fine. If you won't, I will. <laughs> you haven't seen the last of me. <laughs> well, that was... Ooh. Hello. Well, that solved that little problem. Fire! <laughs> well, all's well's end well, I suppose. Do you realise how many innocent people have just died? On the bright side, none of them have wives or girlfriends who'll miss them. <laughs> Billy, I just wanted to apologise and let you know, even if I didn't always agree with your methods, I respect you. Oh, shut up.